Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the Shadow Catcher in Maya 2017 when using the new built-in Arnold Renderer. So here I've got an example and let's close that and I'm going to create a new project file, new scene. Don't want to save that. So first of all I'm going to load my image plane or the background image and um, just make sure that your outliner is open here on the side. And then I'm just going to click on the perspective camera and here on the side I'm going to click on the attribute editor and I'm going to scroll down to environment and then you click on create next to image plane. Right now we can load our still image. I'm just going to click on this little yellow icon and I'm going to browse to my image. It's just a PNG file and open that. All right. So next what you want to do is you want to try and align your grid to the floor. Okay. And um, in this case, I actually know the um, focal length of my camera. So I'm just going to select my camera again. I'm going to scroll up where I can see the angle of view and the focal length. The focal length for this one was 18. So I'm just going to type that in there. And then I'm just going to kind of zoom in and try and align this grid. So it's kind of matching the floor area. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not a moving shot. It's just a still frame, but try and match it as best as possible. Something like that. All right, next we're going to create our plane. So under polygons, I'm just going to click on plane and then I'm just going to scale that up to cover that area where we want to place the object that's going to cast a shadow on our image. Okay, next we're going to create some text. So I'm going to click on the text icon here and it's going to load our fonts. Okay, I'm just going to scale it down, make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to rotate it around like, let's say like that, let's scale it down a little bit more and then I'm just going to type something here, let's type shadows. Okay, then I'm just going to move it into frame, something like that. Okay, so if you're using the new Arnold renderer built into Maya 2017, there's a small glitch um, that you just need to be aware of. If you select your text and go to the type one tab, scroll all the way down and make sure you're on the geometry tab here. And then under deformable type, just make sure that you tick that. If you don't tick that, some of the letters might render a little bit strange. So just tick that and you will be okay. All right, so next we're going to add some lights and I'm going to go to the Arnold tab and I'm going to create a sky dome light and I'm just going to bring the intensity down to 0 0.2. That should be okay. And then I also want to add some area lights. So let's just create one area light and I'm going to move that up maybe to the side, maybe a little bit higher and just kind of tilt it down. And I'm going to bring that intensity up to around 100. And uh, let's just do a quick test render to see what we have. Maybe I want some shadows in the front as well. So I'm going to try and place a light at the back pointing this way. Okay, so let's go into our top view. So I'm just pressing space on the keyboard. And uh, then we're going to go into the top view. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And we're going to copy this light. So I'm just going to copy and paste that basically and I'm just going to move it to this side and I'm just going to rotate it around something like that. Uh, maybe let's just move it this way. Let's go back into perspective just to see what we have. Okay, I think it's pointing in the wrong direction. No, it's pointing in the right direction. Um, and then I just want to set the intensity for this one. So if we just go into that light setting um, I'm going to up this to around 200, this one at the back. Okay, let's just do a quick test render again. Okay, now you can see we've got some shadows in the front. That's pretty cool. Um, just make sure that your plane area is big enough for the shadows. So as you can see here, the shadow is actually going off the plane area. So I'm just going to scale that up a little bit. So let's scale that. Okay, that should be good enough. And uh, next we're going to go into our hypershade to create some materials. Okay, so first I'm going to create a material for the text. So I'm going to scroll down to Arnold, Shader and Surface. And then I'm just going to click on the AI Standard Material. And I'm going to leave it white. Um, that should be all good. I'm going to select my text and just right click on this material, Assign Material to Selection. Okay, and then we're going to create our Shadow Catcher. So under Arnold, Shader, Surface, you'll see there's an AI Shadow Catcher. Just click on that. And we're going to assign that to the plane. So I'm just going to highlight the plane and then I'm going to right click on that shadow catcher and assign material to selection. Okay, so let's close that down and let's do a preview render. Okay, so as you can see, something is wrong. There's two more things we need to do. So I'm just going to close that down. So you can just click on your uh, plane and then right here at the top, we've got your plane shape. 
just gonna click on that and then scroll all the way down to Arnold just expand that and then make sure that opaque is not ticked and then the second thing you need to do is go to your AI shadow catcher tab and then just tick enable transparency okay let's do another test render and that's how easy it is to use the shadow catcher in Maya 2017 when rendering with Arnold. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and also remember to click on that subscribe button for new tutorials every week. Thank you for watching. Cheers, bye.